All right, we're going to be talking about uh, special angles today. Uh, this is going to lead into the main topic, which is parallels with transversals. So we're going to deal with parallel lines and transversal lines. Um, and this part, we'll make sure that we understand how we can incorporate all this together into uh, one section. So let's get started. Um, some of the ones that we're going to talk about are complementary, supplementary, vertical. Uh, we're going to leave the adjacent ones out for now. We may come back to them, but we may not either. Uh, so here we go. So complementary angles, and this hopefully will be a little review, is simply the sum of two angles that equal 90 degrees. Uh, so if you work through the process of finding the angle, you're putting two angles together. So you always have to have two in complementary. Um, when you do this, they always equal 90 degrees. So one of the ways that I look at it is, is I look at it as for the C, you can make this into a 9. Um, gives you a 90 degree. So this with the 0 or the O here would be a 90 degree angle. Kind of an easy way, a play on words to remember it. Um, so if we add our 58 degree angle to our 32 degree angle, uh, we would get a total of 90 degrees. And again, that's what we're looking for. So any two angles that we can put together, we will come up with 90 degrees will be a complementary angle. Um, our other way of looking at this is if we put them both together and we say, well, let's say this is 58, this is 32. If we add the two together, they become a 90 degree angle, which makes that corner down where the two rays are. Our supplementary angle is a little bit different. Now it's two angles with the 180 degrees um, as a total. So one way to remember this is this is, has an 8 in it. So if I take the S in supplementary and I continue it, I can connect it to make an 8. Um, so that kind of, again, another play on words to do that. So again, you have to have two angles to make this happen. If you don't, it's not going to work. So when we look at two angles put together, we can take an angle that's 139 degrees plus an angle that's 41 degrees. If we add them up, obviously we get 180. So 180 also is a straight line. It's a straight angle. So when we put these two together, we're looking at making this straight line. So most of the stuff that we're going to work with today with the parallels and transversals will be supplementary angles. You're going to take two angles put them together and they'll make a straight line. Uh, so vertical is another special angle that you're going to work with. Vertical angles are kind of easy to recognize as long as you look at what they're doing. Um, they form by two center intersecting lines or segments so they must cross uh, and that's kind of what the word intersecting means is we're crossing at a certain point. Um, they also do something interesting as well and we'll see this as you go through the example. So if I give you an example, here is uh, two lines that are crossing uh, at a certain point. We're going to call this angle one, this angle two. Um, one of the things that you can notice is that they look the same um, as you go through it. So we can say that angle one and angle two are congruent uh, for that operation. Um, the other thing that they do, if I can get my pen here, um, is they face each other. So if I put this one over here and this one over here, they're facing each other. So they have to be looking at each other in order to be vertical. These two angles here would be your uh, vertical angles. They're looking at each other. Uh, we can also say that they play kissy face if you want to go that route because they're always facing each other. Uh, these two here would not be congruent um, because they are not the same and they're not vertical. So we're looking at angles that are facing each other across from each other as you look at the angles. So when we go through congruent, again, the symbol for congruent that we're going to use is um, looks with an equal sign and it has the little curly Q at the top, means same size, same shape. And we've discussed that with the other things that we've talked about. So if we look at this, we have a drawing here. We have two intersecting um, 
lines. We will, if we can identify this angle, GDA, um, we can say this angle is vertical to this angle. This angle here is going to be vertical to this angle. So again, they have to be facing each other in order to be vertical angles. So be careful with that as you go. Okay. So one other one we can look at it as, and again, sometimes it's it's easily recognized as just seeing that they look the same. So this angle here looks the same as this one. This one looks the same as this one over here. So again, the biggest thing that you can remember is they face each other. Okay. So when we look at something drawn like this, where we have seven different angles, we can say with our identifying, again, we're looking at something that faces it. So if I ask you uh, angle one, what is a, a vertical to it? That would be this. Angle seven would be vertical to angle four. And angle six would be vertical to angle three. Okay. And you can get all kinds of different things. And now we can ask you all kinds of different questions. Now I can ask you supplementary. I can ask you vertical. I can ask you complementary. So there's a lot of different ways that through geometry that we can do this. The one we're going to focus on is parallels um, with transversals. So parallel lines and transversals, one of the biggest things is you have to state that everything is parallel and you have a transversal. And this is what it's set up to be looking like. So you have two parallel lines and parallel lines that are, um, they don't meet, were intersected by another line. So the other line is referred to as the transversal. Um, that intersects or what we say cuts across or bisects is another word that you're using. And that is what goes across in this. So here is what we look at as being parallel to um, parallel transversals. So line one is parallel to line two. Line three is our transversal that goes through it. So we have to state this. So make sure that we have this put in there. The assignments that we're going to give you will be having that as well. So special angles in here. We have alternate interiors, alternate exteriors, and corresponding. And corresponding, for some reason, are usually the tougher ones to deal with. Um, so let's look at each one of these. There's a drawing for each one as you go through it. So alternate interior, alternate, you meaning going back and forth from one thing to another. Um, interior is the inside of something. So we're looking at the inside of the parallel lines. Um, so here's an example of alternate interiors. So it would be a great idea to draw these up so you have the examples so you can see this. You can manipulate the paper depending on how the drawing is. So we have alternate exterior, already defined as alternate, going back and forth. Exterior is the outside, so now we're dealing in the outside of the parallel lines. So again, here's an example of what you're dealing with with alternate exteriors. The last one is corresponding. Correspondings are a little tougher. Um, what happens is, is you have a little bit different than the first two. Uh, they do not go across anything. So you're not flipping back and forth across the transversal. They're on the same side of the transversal as what you see. And they're either on top of the parallel lines or they're on the bottom of the parallel lines. So as you can see, angle C is corresponding to angle A. Angle B is corresponding to angle D. Um, they're on the top for this and they're on the same side. So if we had an angle here, at the bottom of this, this angle would be corresponding to this angle. And this angle would correspond to this angle. So again, same side, top or bottom of the parallels. So we can look at this and now we can put all this together and say, well, we have vertical angles here. So A and B are vertical. We can also look at this angle, we'll call this C is supplementary to with angle A. So if I add these two together, it gives me that straight line, which is 180 degrees. All right. So if you look at these, you should be able to go through and identify all the different types of angles that we've talked about in this. We're going to go through a couple other problems. So give me a minute as we kind of change over some things. 
uh, for this part and we'll get through that. So here we go. So give me a second. So one of the other things that you're going to be asked to do is you're going to be asked to find certain angles depending on what you're given. So this again helps us in identifying what we're looking for. So all the corresponding alternate interior vertical, alternate exteriors, corresponding supplementary angles are going to be used in this. So in order to find angle number one, we know that we're given angle of 52 here, but we don't see a correlation. They're not congruent. So if we could find this angle here, this angle, which we'll call angle A, is congruent to angle one because they're corresponding. So if I look at this, if I find out that, well, what is 52? A straight line is 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 180 and I'm going to minus it from 52. And that's going to give me 128. So if this angle here is 128, that also means that this angle here is 128 because they're corresponding. So when I look at the next one, I have 63. I'm looking for angle C. Well, I know that if I take this angle and if I add it to angle C, I would make a straight line in this case. So I could take, again, 180 degrees minus 63, subtract that out, and I'm going to end up with 117 degrees. So again, angle C is 117 because these are supplementary angles for that. Another example that we can go through would be to give you a trapezoid. So we give you something like this. Now, a couple things to note. These arrows here denote that you have parallel lines. So there's a couple different ways that you can look at this and say, well, this, if I extend this, and that's something you can do in geometry, if I extend this line, that's 180 degrees, well, if I were to take this angle and this angle and actually add them up, that should equal 180 degrees. Well, I don't know what this is. I do know part of this. So I can take 180 and minus 60, and that leaves me with 120. So I know that my angle A is going to equal 120 degrees. Well, I can do the same thing over here with this, as I can say, well, I know 131. I know if I extend this, this is 180 degrees. If I subtract the two, this angle ends up being 49 degrees. You can also look at it as parallels and transversals. So if I were to look at this angle here and extend this out for this, if I know this angle and I extend this, this is my transversal, I know these two are alternate interiors. I already know that this is 131 degrees. Now I can take this, subtract it from 180, and again I'll get 49 degrees. And I can do the same thing over on this side. Is This is my transversal, so I'm forgetting this side of the problem. I'm extending this. I'm saying I know this. This is alternate interior, so these two are the same. And these two are supplementary. So that ends up to be 120 degrees. So again, there's different ways that you can use parallels with transversals to get this taken care of. So a couple more examples. One that we have to set up a little bit of an equation. But again, if you recognize the fact that, well, I'm going to turn this just so I can see that my parallel lines are going off in a certain direction. I have my transversal. This angle and this angle are corresponding because they're both on the top and they're on the same side of the transversal. So I can figure out that I know that this is already 132 degrees. Well, what I can do is I can subtract that from 180 and that's going to give me 48. That's equal to my 3y, which now I just simply solve the one step equation and I end up with 16 and that's my measurement for my degrees there. The last one, which is probably the easiest, we're looking for angles 1 and 2. Well, we know that angle 1 is vertical to the one that we know. That's 130. We also know that these are alternate interiors for this and this. So this also is 130 degrees. So there's your parallels with transversals. 
get to work.